Green Corn told us about this. It said, you can get you a mulch garden, like get all your waste, leftover foods that I wouldn't want, and stuff and just plant it in the, in the ground. That's what I've been doing for four years. This is where all the food go, right here, instead of putting it in the garbage can. If I need uh, potting soil for my, for my plants, I just come and get some little dirt from here and put it in there. Instead of buying a miracle Grow dirt, I just get it from here. Put it in my plants and then just water it down. Try not to put too much because I don't want it to be too fertilized. You know, the bugs, everything start growing in them. And uh, just let them let it grow. We basically have about 300 square feet that we're growing in and we can produce about 80% of all the vegetables that we consume in a year. So this is different kinds of uh, leaf lettuce. You get a whole variety for, for the salad bowl, so there's different, there's green. Different you know. textures and colors. Most vegetables, especially like tomatoes, you can't even buy, uh, homegrown tomatoes that taste like the kind of tomatoes we grow. And this is getting to be kind of... It's therapy. I mean, I, I get some exercise because we turn the garden beds over twice a year, and then uh, out doing the planting is very, very satisfying. Uh, and then coming out here in the evenings and, uh, and, and weed for 15 minutes, and then decide what to pick for dinner that night, it's, it's a great sense of accomplishment that you grew it. Yep, that's a healthy one. All right. We got some kale, we got some onions, we got lettuce, we got spinach, got some really lovely arugula in here. In Austin, all winter long, you can put a pot out on your back porch and plant some lettuce in it, and you can have fresh lettuce every day. The mission of Green Corn Project is to educate Austinites in organic gardening methods. And the way we do that is we go out and we install gardens for individuals or organizations that just don't have access to good organic vegetables. People volunteer for different reasons, right? And so um, we, we have a lot of volunteers that know a lot about gardening. And so they come out and want to share their knowledge. And then we have volunteers that know nothing about gardening, but they really want to learn. Ah, bueno, nosotros tenemos viviendo aquí uh, cuatro años ya en, esta, en este hogar y ahora tuvimos la oportunidad de recibir un nuevo jardín. We break up into work groups of maybe six to ten people per dig in. And so the, the group size is small enough for a lot of interaction. Estamos aprendiendo el método de cómo uh, sembrar y cómo poder empezar a, a cultivar nuestras propias verduras. Uh, también uh, hay veces que en la tienda es un poquito difícil comprar ese tipo de, de verdura que es orgánica. No conocemos a nadie que tenga un jardín así como este que nos han proporcionado. Y cuando tengamos el, el, las verduras, poderlo compartir con otros, otras personas o tal vez aquí en el, los mismos vecinos. We want the gardeners to be involved. We want to go in and install a garden for people that want gardens and they want to be involved in the process and they want to learn about it. Since I'm from Louisiana, I grew up on the farm. I like gardening. And uh, I've been having a garden for four years. 
this year I decided just to plant a small one to see how it would work out. And it's working out great. Just enough uh, parsley and collard greens. This right here lasts me all through the fall. Just knowing when I didn't have potatoes to go with the green beans, you can come out and you can just pick those green beans. You just have enough just to fix for that meal if that's what you want. You don't have to go to the store and you have fresh organic vegetables right here in your own backyard. That's the thing, and you didn't cost you a penny. Just time, just to grow it, and just to maintain and take care of it, and, and just live off of it.